all right hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is jessica today we are doing an update for my pan that palette slash pan those palettes because i have multiple palettes in this um i'm mainly doing trios and quads and yeah here we go so i guess um, let's start with the exciting news because we do have an exciting news um, and if you watched the last update, I'm sure you already know, it's like exciting, but like very predictable. Finished my Alme Trio. Normally this comes like second or third, I think in the lineup, but we just have to put this in here. Look, empty, empty Alme Trio. This is trash that can go in the trash now. <laughs> I am so excited that that's one less thing in my collection. And I'm just, I loved it. It was a great trio, very faithful, like had all the great, colors um but like one last thing that i'm gonna have to which i know i'm gonna have to move in mid-august um so i know it's one less thing that i'm carrying around with me so whew, very exciting very exciting stuff okay so woohoo quick celebration and now let's move on to the mac quad Okay, so this is a little different. Um, as you can see, yes, there's progress, but there's also a different shade in here. Now, this is a shade from my Project 50 pan. It's like a little pigment that I, a MAC sample pigment that I like got the sample free. I don't know what color it was. It's anonymous, but uh, yeah, here it is pressed in there. Um, yeah, I've been using that to like kind of deepen out my outer corner now that the Alme dark shade was um, is gone and I, I'm using it to like line a little bit and this was just kind of a more easy way to use it trying trying it out um, I'll do more of a progress report in terms of all of that in the project 50 pan but I mean it's hard not to see it right so other than that I haven't really seen the pictures but I have been using this so I don't know what the progress looks like but I've been using this every single time I did my makeup this month, other than I think like two times, I did something a little different just because I was traveling um, for a work thing and I didn't want to bring this and this and like all these other things. I just brought my pan and everything palette that I've been working on because it's just, it's all in there regardless. Anyways, okay, so back to this. Um, yeah, so I would use this every single day that I did makeup um, aside from those two times and yeah, I think I wore makeup quite a bit too in this month. I mean, there was maybe a week where I didn't, but other than that, I did a lot of makeup as far as I can remember. <laughs> like, um, But yeah, so I'm not sure where the progress is, but I mean, nothing standing out, right? Like I still don't have side pan anywhere. I think things are just moving slowly but surely. And I was kind of in the mood last month, I think I said this was like, I just want that out. I want it done. I want to get going. I want to move things out. Um, not that I don't love the colors. I still love the colors. It's just one less thing. One less thing in my collection that I like am holding on to if we just move it and push it and it'll be great. So anyways, uh, but I mean, still holding true, still loving it. Um, but I would love, I would love progress nonetheless. So let's move on to the last eyeshadow quad or no trio that I have. Um, so now also, by the way, I'm only gonna have these two in my project. So, I mean, that's kind of cool for now, for now I'm gonna have those two in my project. So, but anyways, let's do pictures of this from last month and this month. So once again, currently only working on this shade. Once uh, this shade is done, I'll go ahead and start using this shade for inner corner because that's what I'm using it as. And once this shade's done, I'll start using this. And well, I mean, once this shade's done, if this guy's still hanging around, then I'll start using that as my lid shade. But yeah, once this, essentially this thing is done, I can really use these two colors. In the meantime, I'm using this matte brown my prediction slash goal was to hit side pan still haven't done it um this is again i'm really just gently putting it using my brush um and i've been kind of like i with summer i've been trying to like make my eye look like not as like smoky and i feel like i'm using um that that light brown um that mid-tone brown like in a lighter fashion now so i think that with my how I'm using it, I'm picking up even less product. So yeah, I mean, it's fine because it's another matte brown that I would just have to pull from somewhere else. And I don't know exactly where I would be pulling it from at this point. Um, you know, I kind of was like, well, maybe I'll pull, start working on my other palette that I want to pan whichever one I end up moving on to, but, um, we'll see, 
we'll see what ha ends up happening. And then I also have though my hourglass face palette and we'll do pictures from last month to this month. So I think last time I said I would like um, two more rows of these dots and I think I have basically only one more row which is fine. I also will say I feel like this is a lot flatter. Like I don't know if it's necessarily translating but this was a lot more domed so this part right here especially is really starting to flatten out and isn't as domed um but yeah that's where we're at um we'll see what the progression looks like next month i think you can kind of start seeing like this second row um like well i guess it's one two three this third row right over here it's just a highlighter and we're just using it and yeah but as soon as it's gone like that's gone this whole thing will be gone, which once again, very exciting, very exciting things. So for next month, it'll only be these three palettes that we're updating on. Um, I will find it really, really hard unless I just like don't wear makeup um, or at least like don't use the shadows. If I don't like, I think it would be really hard for me not to hit side pan on this. Um, so I think that's going to happen, side pan. <laughs> of course, we said that last, last month, so we'll see, but... And then, I mean, with this, we will see, I, with this shade, I mean, I guess I can kind of talk about it a little bit. I'm not going to set goals per se, but I think it'll be really easy for me to use this up because obviously it's not, there's not, it's not really filling up the pan all that much. Um, and yeah, however, depending on how I use it on days where I'm like going out all day filming and, and things like that, like actually going to work with my 16 hour days, I'm not using it to deepen out my outer corner. I'm just using it to like line my eyeliner or line my eyes with, um, like a lash line. <laughs> Sorry, words are difficult. So I'm only using it to, on those days, I'm only using it to line my lash line, just to deepen things out in that way. Not necessarily in the outer corner, which obviously I'm using a bigger brush when I do it for the outer corner. So it makes it like, um, it gets, you know, used up faster. So we'll see how fast it actually moves, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a problem. Anyways, um, not necessarily for this project, but for these two as well, I, every time I'm kind of like, I want to hit side pan in one of these. However, I'm also like just kind of putting my brush in there naturally and seeing what, what comes of it. Um, and we'll see just progress, <laughs> just progress. But I do want these gone sooner than later. Cause like I think I said in the last one, I've been panning that for almost two years now and it's a quad, <laughs> but you know, I mean, we all know that I'm really slow at panning anyways, but we'll see what happens next month. Fingers crossed. Everything will go well. I don't know if I'm going to stay on the only using these this next month or not, or if I'm gonna switch it up and start using my pan on, um, oh, what am I panning? Like my 20 uses project pan stuff or like my other eyeshadows, whatever. But as of now, I think I'm gonna continue using them because I just wanna see how fast I can like move through it. But again, I may get bored and just want to switch things up. So like, whatever, we'll just go with the flow and see how I'm feeling and what I'm doing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know how your pan, those palettes, pan that palette is going. I would love to hear. I love hearing everything. I love it because I also get motivated from you all and it's great. So yeah, thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.